Hey guys, this is Thomas from the band Camelot, and you're watching Echo on the Metal Authority. It's uh, bittersweet, you know, I'm ready to get, get home and, and have some rest, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's the last show, so we're going to have fun tonight. You're going to do something special, because it's the last, and this is your town. Yeah, I mean, not really. We, we've, we've, we've set the, you know, the, the set list to be pretty consistent with mm -hmm. all the shows. I mean, obviously, right. it's going to be a little bit more, when we talk to the crowd, it's going to be a little bit different stuff, you know. And, you know, we're not the traditional bands that do a lot of shenanigans on the last show. It's a little bit... What's a shenanigan? You know, like um, playing pranks on the other bands, because we want the crowd, no matter what show they go to, to see a good yes. the show. You know. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, if there's too many, too much shenanigans going it's on, not it's not always the, the, that uh, professional. But in general, I mean, it's it's going to be uh, a great show. Tonight. Yes, and um, you know, you talk about set list. I'm gonna pass out. I I check the uh, set list then. Uh, you change a little bit, like you said, mm -hmm. like a jolly, some for jolly, and uh, you know, like a ballad. You're super full, yeah. Yes, yes, both. And uh, you have must, you have must, you have must play songs, you know, yeah. center of universe and forever and karma. It's all together, mm -hmm. and nicely put everything, mm -hmm. like you know, seventeen songs, I believe. Oh, okay, I didn't yeah. know. I didn't. But I just look at the amount of timing. I'm mm -hmm. trying to try to make sure we play at least 90 minutes. 90 then. minutes, that's great. Um, and we're doing a mix of the older songs, like you said, but also I think we play five songs from Haven, which is something uh, that is cool for us to be able to do, and they go over great live, which is mm -hmm. important. Um, so we're not just resting on on the old songs. We want to make sure that people hear the new. Yes. Songs. Don't you get so? Um, aren't you get proud of? so much when you see this you know songs great songs from all the albums and it's like catalogs yeah well, fabulous thank, songs thank you um it makes it difficult to make a set list you know because a lot of fans have certain favorites sure now. but we have to kind of like i said first we wanted to focus on haven so we have five, at least five songs from mm -hmm. the new album that we think about the older songs what people want to hear also, you know, with Tommy, this being his second record, we want to also have the songs from Silverthorn. So yes. that, the, that the, the representation of the live mm -hmm. show is a majority of with the, his original songs. You, know? yeah. you end it with Sacramento from Silverthorn. Yeah. Right? And yes. uh, I like Revolution. That is like, like so fit for a live. You know? Yeah, it's Much. really fun to play. and. Mm -hmm. um, you know, occasionally we'll get mosh pits going and stuff, which is, is that right? interesting for our, for, for our fan base. Sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really fun song to play live. Um, it's one that we thought about maybe doing a video for, we're not sure yet, but... I would like to. 
that's you have liar liar and uh, insomnia so a third would be well we're not sure revolution would be great i think uh, uh under gray skies would be cool uh -huh. My therapy, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's my favorite. It's your favorite, okay. Yes, because... Um, so there you go, it's going to be my therapy. Tonight. Yay, because, uh, you know, you write a song and um, Tommy write lyrics and melody, mm -hmm. vocal melody, right? And uh, that's such an unexpected note. Like, yeah? You know. Oh, the, the melody? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like a half note, like a little. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, when I first heard it, I was like, mm, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. But now that you you hear it, you get totally used to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's a cool song that to make a video for. I think it's going to be a song that, you know, if you've never heard of Camelot, and maybe you like hard hard rock or, yeah. or metal, you'll like it as well. So that's uh, definitely a candidate. Yes, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Well, so you, um, we did talk about video, and I, when you write a song, you go to Germany to be with Oliver, or you do here? It's a mixture of both. I mean, I do stuff at home. I have a small studio at home, and then I fly to Germany and sit down with Oliver, and we work on, on ideas and things. And a lot of the stuff we do in Germany is created on the spot. You know, like I might sit there and think, okay, I want to have a song that captures a certain feel mm. and then we just start making ideas and throwing them back and forth to each other. What is your <clears throat> inspiration? For example, silver songs from movie? Um, well, like for example, Haven, mm. a lot of the inspiration came from my love of movies as, as a young uh, young kid, young adult. Uh, I really was into the sci-fi stuff. I still <laughs> love sci-fi. So movies like uh, The Island or Gattaca. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, Gattaca. I, I love that. Gattaca. Mm -hmm. um, and even the series, you know, like back in the 80s and 90s, it was really cool, futuristic series. And I just find it fascinating. And to be able to kind of infuse that into what we're doing was something uh, that I thought was, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, time to do. Yes. Yeah. Because you never, um, how do you call Because all these albums, you reach expectation for the fans. You know, everybody want more and more, mm -hmm. and next, next, and always uh -huh. so satisfied. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Yes, that's well. You know, we we, we really work hard to satisfy mm -hmm. ourselves first, and hope that that what we do and the uh, the time and effort is uh, also appreciated by the mm -hmm. fans. Yes, I believe uh, Loud Park, you know, all the new audience love camera. Yeah, that was awesome. Sure. <laughs> that was awesome. We, we were told, uh, well, you can do Loud Park, but you have to fly in the middle of your European tour. Thank you. And then you're only there a day and then you fly back. Yes. And I just felt like it was so important because we really uh, love Japan, first of all. And, um, we want to reach out to as many people as we can. I think. I think the Loud Park was uh, very successful. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, I have a Twitter account and I was looking while you were playing Camelot, 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 uh, all Camelot. Awesome. Yes, yes. I was so um, happy. Oh, hey, I got So, okay, I'm going to show you some names. Okay. And I'd like, <laughs> what, you're nervous? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to share. Um, your thoughts okay. about that. Ah, Casey Grillo. Right. He has um, been with Camelot the longest next to me. That's right. He's my loyal uh, colleague and he's the generator machine for the band live. And uh, yeah, what can I say? What's his personality like? Funny? He's, uh, yeah, he's funny, but he's also kind of uh, quiet. Mm. Um, I would say, in, Similar to me in a way, introvert, you know, um, once you get to know him, yes. it's different, you know, but uh, on the surface we're both sort of quiet guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, Sean, he's the, he's the wild man on stage and... Uh, Here. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's always excited about uh, music mm -hmm. and touring and Camelot and the fans. Um, like I said, live, he's just, uh, we all just sometimes watch him 
ourselves on stage because he's such a beast on stage. Yes, you can yeah. you can see that actually. Yeah, yeah. it's he's Very awesome great. dude. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's the maestro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Oliver is very quiet off stage. He's very, uh, what do you call it? Um, Humble? Subdued. Subdued. Oh, okay. Subdued, mm -hmm. Reading the book mm -hmm. before it's stage. You know? oh. <laughs> but on stage, he's also a madman on stage. Yeah, he's his amazing. hair is always almost yes. like a cut choreographed. And he's, a, he's an amazing guitar player, too. A lot of people is that right? Him. Yeah. So oh. he's, uh, yeah, him, him and Casey are the, they're the probably the best musicians in the group. <laughs> Well, remember, you are the one who create all those songs too. Well, I, I work with I work with great people, it's, yeah. you know, including Oliver and Tommy. Mm -hmm. um, Oliver also has been a big uh, collaborator with Silverthorn and Hayden. Oh, Robinson. okay. Yeah. Well, hey. Uh, so um, this guy had a huge uh, role to fill, and he's mm -hmm. actually taking this opportunity and, and I think he's taken Kemala to another level. Um, he's uh, very humble, which is yes. very refreshing today. Um, a lot of girls like him, I don't know why. <laughs> but he's just he's just an awesome guy. I mean, uh, what can I say? I mean, he's probably would be a superhero in some other some other life. But right. Luckily he's a singer for Camelot. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean. So uh, I would say also humble and mm. quiet, but um, I have a very hard work ethic, and I'm also very loyal to people. Mm. Um, I think it's maybe also why I connect well with Japanese people. I agree. And um, yeah, you'd have to ask someone else about <laughs> me because I don't like to talk about myself. <laughs> Well, talk, talking about you, because I wanted to know about you more because all the fans see you, you know, on the stage uh -huh. and we don't get to see you, you know, di different side. Yeah. So I have some questions okay. for you. Um, tell us about your favorite band. What three bands do you like? Uh, well, growing up, my favorite bands were Queen. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably Iron Maiden and Queensryche. Oh. Those are my favorite bands growing yes. up. If I had to pick three, I mean, yes. I had a lot. But, sure. But uh, I think that those were the bands that sort of helped forge the initial ideas for Camelot. Oh, it, is that right? Yeah, and eventually, you know, we created our own sound, hopefully. But uh, those are definitely the kind of the bands that I was listening to. When you start um, your own career, you wanted to make this symphonic metal? Um, well, something, a mixture of, you know, what I was listening to at the time was like Maiden and Queens like those mm -hmm. kind of bands. But eventually I started to get into like new age music, mm -hmm. classical stuff on, on my personal. Mm -hmm. you know, and so I started to bring that, those elements into Camelot, especially the new age stuff, like starting with Karma, you know, albums like that. I started really getting into Celtic and Persian, mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. Persian music, mm -hmm. you know, Arabian stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, Arabian, yes. You have one song like that, yeah. okay? And um, stuff you can't live without. Stuff or? Mm -hmm. Stuff, not oh, stuff. Yeah. Oh. Your favorite drink, your favorite food, yeah. or? Okay. Oh, I love pasta, I love spaghetti, that kind of food. But mm -hmm. uh, drinks, probably uh, a good beer now and then, it's nice to have. Yeah. It's time yeah. for you to tonight. Yes, exactly. <laughs> But pretty much stuff is stuff, you know. Anything that can be purchased, mm -hmm. you don't you don't really need, you know. The important things are family and, and friends and, and fans, of course. Absolutely. See, uh, I like doing interview. Uh, one of the reasons is I get to feel real artist mm -hmm. like mindset, yeah. not only seeing. Yeah. And I get to share with the fan. That's awesome. That's cool. Right. Yes. And okay, tell us something nobody knows about you. Oh. Can, <laughs> well, you can you keep a secret? <laughs> yes. You know, actually, I did an interview with Tommy, yeah. and then he showed his magic trick. Oh, right. Vanish the card. Oh, that one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
pretty good, huh? Yes. Uh, actually, both him and I have a kind of a, a passion for for uh, illusions. Yeah, we both do. And um, I've also passed it on to my kids. This, uh, oh, yeah. So I teach them the tricks where they Can you do the something coin. right now? Uh, let me see if I have a coin. <laughs> So let's see if this works. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Ah! Wow! Go to Las Vegas. Do the show. Awesome. Well, what? I think we have to do the meet and greet Yes, okay. So it's time for you to do your own things but yeah. thank you for coming and I'd like to ask you to tell the fun in some message yeah I want to thank and you guys for, huh? and plan for <coughs> Japan too as well yeah right now we are actually working um, we're talking to some different agents in Japan after the park we really want to come back and do our headliner show which um, is one of the highlights of every album tour that we do we want to come to Japan I personally love Japan. I could probably live there, but um, so right now we're working on that for you guys. And hopefully, within the next three to four weeks, we'll have something to announce. And then, um, yeah, I want to thank all you guys for your support. Um, definitely go out and get Haven. The record company loves it when the, they have sales, and that helps us come on tour. And I want to thank you guys, and hopefully, we'll see you next year in Japan on the tour. Did he make the disappear? <laughs> yes, he did! <laughs>